Wait, let's rewind a little. So I thought this would be a great idea to bring out the Insta360 Go. I can not only use it to vlog with the camera, but also use it to mount it on different points on this off-roader to get interesting angles and also enjoy the moment. So let's do that. Let's take this out for a ride and have some fun. Oops, that didn't go well. But don't worry guys, thankfully nobody got hurt. We're all okay. I know it looks quite dramatic, but we managed to get it back on its wheels. You can see how relieved we are. What just happened? Always remember to stay safe when shooting your action videos because it can happen. I was quite surprised that the Insta360 Go survived that. I thought I'd lost it, but it stuck to the magic arm and had some minor scratches on the side and on the lens as well. But luckily I'm able to replace it without having to buy the whole camera. So throughout my trip to San Diego, I got to test out the Insta360 Go 3 and I'm really impressed with how easy it is to capture unique angles you never thought possible, all with a device that fits in the palm of your hand. You can see it's a tiny yet powerful action camera that transforms your ordinary moments into captivating stories. In my opinion, it is one of the most advanced cameras that really gives you the freedom to capture your experience in any way possible while still being able to enjoy the moment. And in this video, guys, I will show you how you can get creative shots with the Insta360 Go when creating your next adventure. Now, I want to give a big shout out to Insta360 for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel. Now, before we dive into the creative shots, let's first talk about what's new on the Go 3. Now, I love how the Go 3 can now record at a higher resolution up to 2.7K compared to the Go 2, which was limited to 1440p. Also, unlike the Go 2, there are no record limits, which means on the Go 3, you can record without any interruptions. The Go 3 also has an improved runtime of up to 45 minutes, and when paired with the Action Pod, you can get an impressive 170 minutes of runtime. Compared to the Go 2, the Go 3 has a 50% longer battery life. Now, both feature a magnetic design, making them great for attaching to metal surfaces. Plus, with the included accessories, you now have more options for creative mounting. Now, the microphone on the Go 3 has also been improved. It now has two instead of one, resulting in better audio quality. And you can now use a voice control to make hands-free recording even easier. Start recording. Start recording. Now the Action Pod is the biggest upgrade that comes with many amazing features. You can see that it has a magnetic design that makes it easy to remove and attach the Go 3. Now one of my favorite features is the touch screen on the back. This is a total game changer and I personally really love it. It makes changing settings and setting up your shot faster and easier without having to rely on the Wi-Fi preview on your phone. Now, the best part is that I can take the Go 3 out of the action pod and still get a live preview, which again helps to set my framing. Now, you can also flip the screen, making it great for vlogging. What's up, guys? So I'm doing a vlog test on the Insta360 Go. Let me guys know what you think of the audio quality. And I'm shooting at 2.7K at 25 frames per second in linear mode. God, there are lots of flies here. I'm shooting in a flat picture profile. So later on, I have more options in the color grading process. I think the image quality looks really great, especially when you're filming in bright conditions. I could see using this as a vlogging camera because it's small, portable, and you can really bring it everywhere with you. And also I have the flip out screen. So this way I can see myself too. So this is really great. If I walk around, the image is quite stable. I can not only use it to vlog with the camera, but also use it to mount it on different points on this off-roader to get interesting angles 
and also enjoy the moment. Now, going back to the off-road scene, I love how I was able to set up the Go 3 easily from different angles to create a dynamic video. Most of the shots were captured using the free frame video mode as it allows me to use flow state stabilization and horizon lock. Especially for scenes that have a lot of shakes, this mode helps to smooth out the footage and keeps the horizon level. And what's cool is that when shooting in this mode, editing the clips in the Insta360 app or Insta360 Studio allows me to reframe the shot and also adjust the aspect ratio to upload my videos in a 9x16 and 16x9 format with minimal cropping. And this gives me a lot of flexibility so that I can share the same clip on any social media site. The Go 3 also added new features like pre-recording, which captures video 10 to 30 seconds before you press the shutter, perfect for capturing these unpredictable moments. It also has a loop recording as well as time shift to create a hyperlapse video. Now here's a pro tip which I use all the time. You can use the quick menu button to the side to switch between the shooting modes faster. Also you have a quick capture mode which doesn't require me to turn on the Go 3 and you can simply just press the record button with the settings you've dialed in to start recording. Now as for the camera settings, I most of the time like to film in the free frame video mode as this gives me a lot of flexibility. I also like to shoot in a flat picture profile to increase the dynamic range as I prefer to color correct and color grade my footage in the edit for better results. So let's now explore some of the creative shots you can capture with the Insta360 GO 3. Firstly, its compact size allows you to fit it into tight spaces, which is perfect for unique angles and perspectives. You can also use the magnet to attach the GO 3 to any metal surface. It is also waterproof up to five meters, so you can submerge it in water and create a fun shot like this, or bring it along on a swim or snorkel trip without worrying about damaging the camera. However, keep in mind that the GO 3 with the action pot is not waterproof, meaning it's water and splash resistant. Now the Insta360 offers a wide range of accessories for the Go 3 that helps you get creative with your shots, making it easier for you to mount and capture moments in a unique way. One of my favorite accessories is the monkey tail, which you can bend in any way you like and wrap it around various objects. I used it on a car wash mounting the Go 3 on the high pressure water spray for a unique perspective. I also attach it to the brush, which looks quite amazing. The monkey tail can be used as a selfie stick as well, as you can see in this shot, or even as a tripod. You can really create any shape you want. The possibilities are endless. Then there's the magnetic pendant, which allows you to keep your hands free for the perfect POV shot. Whether you're driving, rollerblading, or simply just want to capture a day in your life, just place the pendant under your shirt and attach the Go 3 to it. Then there's the pivot stand that allows you to easily mount it on any clean, flat surface using a reusable sticky base. I can easily wash it off with water and stick it on a new surface. I initially mounted it on the off-roader, but it became loose over time due to the bumpy road, so I wouldn't really recommend it for that type of activity. So for better support and avoid any worries about it falling off, I decided to attach it to the magnetic arm. It worked very well and at no point did it fall off. The pivot stand features a magnetic latch to mount your Go 3 camera. Now with an adjustable ball joint, you can capture shots from various angles. The stand also includes a universal one quarter mounting point for compatibility with various accessories. Then there is the extension pole, which is versatile, allowing for high or a low angled shots. It's great for capturing angles that are hard to reach, such as this shot where I captured the boat from the side, creating an interesting angle. Then there's the camera clip, which you can easily attach and remove, allowing you to secure it to your belt and hats. And you can really get creative with it. You can even attach it onto your rollerblades like I did for a fun, unique angle. So as you can see, there are many ways to use these different accessories to get creative with your footage. And the best part is it's lightweight and easy to carry in your bag without taking up much space. Also, the quick setup time makes using these accessories convenient and hassle-free, allowing me to focus on the moment while capturing with my Go 3 camera. So who's the Go 3 for? I think if you're someone who likes to document their moments in a fun and unique way, the Go 3 allows you to do so. It's small, portable, quick to set up, and lets you capture those moments while enjoying it. Or perhaps you're a content creator looking to add unique shots to enhance your video. You could even use it as a vlogging camera and take it on your next adventure. I also find it really great to use the Go 3 not only as a backup camera, but also to capture behind the scenes videos 
which can be a great addition to my tutorials. The Go 3 really has something for everyone. Let me know in the comments what you love about the Go 3 and how you plan on using it. If you have any questions, guys, feel free to drop them in the comments as well. Remember, the Go 3 is all about getting creative and having fun with your shots. So don't be afraid to experiment and try new things. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care and see you the next time.